Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I'm very comfy and just relaxing. Today is Saturday. It is a beautiful day, but I went to the gym. I did what I had to do and I'm back in the house and I'm ready to just relax. And this is an online haul. As you know, well, I don't know about you, but when I'm purchasing things online, I'm not all glammed up. I'm usually in my um, boy shorts and a t-shirt or, or my robe and sipping some tea. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with filming this video for you. I purchased these things online um, previously and some things I was waiting on to put together as a whole to film this video for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And the first thing I'm so excited about that I received is the Zara Beauty Lipstick Tower. This tower retails for $99 and it holds 81 lipsticks. It comes in a variety of colors and the black one has been out for a while and I have been really, really waiting on it. And it got back in stock and I said, this is a sign. I need to get it. Something that has um, just came today, literally, and then I'm like, let me just film this video so I can put this stuff up, is my Dose of Color lips, um, liquid lipsticks, and I have the new shade Bury Me Too, and I also have the shade Purple Rain. This is Purple Rain, and these retail for $18, and these are so nice that's purple rain and it dries into a matte finish and the next one is bury me too which which is a new release color they just released on march 27th and i don't know if you know but they just anna just put up something on instagram and she's coming out with three new shades and it's launching at IMATS New York. So if you're going to IMATS New York, be sure to get in the Dose of Colors line first. And for online, it will um, go on sale in the mid of April. So you know I'm going to have to get that. Three new shades. The next thing um, that I bought online is I went to Sephora. And at Sephora, I got... A Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. You know, this is raved about. It's a new product from Makeup Forever. And it's just, this is in the shade number two. It has two of them. One has a little pinker highlight and a um, lighter bronzer. But this is what it looks like. And I don't even want to swatch it. It's so pretty. But this retails for $39. And I'm excited to put my hands in that. And I had some points. So I used 100 points for this Benefit Poof Away for Under Your Eyes. So I want to try that out. The next thing, I went to Macy's. And as you know, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation is my holy grail um, right now. And so I wanted something a little lighter for the summer. So I ended up picking up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, which comes in a tube like this. And I got the shade 6.0 and I got matched at the um, counter before I purchased it. So I know what shade to purchase. And this is what it looks like. Um, when I had put it on, when the lady had put it on me, it was just flawless like the the regular double wear that I have and I'm in the color rich cocoa and that another thing that I purchased is I've been looking for a new moisturizer because now my skin has been changing it seems like that I'm now combination to normal instead of oily um, um, combination because I only get oily within the t-zone everything else sometimes I get dry spots on my my cheeks so I picked up the Clinique Dramatic Different Moisturizing Lotion. It comes like this. And it retails for $27. I don't know if I told you. This retails for $37. But, um, yes. This moisturizer. And my friend and ship Sharice gave me a um, sample of the gel. And I like that one too. So, I think I'm going to end up purchasing both of them. 
so I might purchase the gel one as well. These are so hydrating to the skin. And a sample that came with my Estee Lauder is a cleanser that looks like this. So, when I'm done with my um, Clarisonic cleanser, I'm going to start trying all these sample cleansers that I have. And the next thing I have is a package from e.l.f. As you know, e.l.f. is the bomb, low key. And some brushes they have don't always be in Target or Walmart or wherever e.l.f. products are sold. So, I um, end up going online to purchase these three brushes. And I have the Ultimate Kabuki brush that looks like this. I have the Contouring brush that looks like this. And I have an Ultimate Blending brush that looks like this. And this is from their Black Studio line. And these brushes are so soft and dense. Do you see that? Is like so soft. I have cocoa butter on my face right now. If you think my face is oily. But yeah. Cocoa butter is my stuff. I'm in love with that cocoa butter. <laughs> and this is. A contour brush from e.l.f. Which is really nice. Everyone's um, raving about. All these brushes that has. Um, like a. A dense side like this like the eater brush the becca brush well this one right here is kind of similar to the the becca brush that is out and it looks like this i'm excited for this it is so soft not really for contouring but you can like bronze up the face or set your face wipe off powder with this i'm so excited for this and it's super cute at that so the next thing i got offline is from by allegory and um this is a organizer as well i'll put all the links to where i receive these things in the description bar so be sure to check that but this is just the compact holder for um, my bronzers or um mac mineralized skin finishes or even blushes and i just got the regular acry acrylic clear it comes in different colors but most of my containers are acrylic so i want to keep the trend going another thing i got uh, oh this is another something else from macy's and this is the lancome foundation and all my foundations i try to get samples before i actually purchase them because no one has time to be doing that um, exchange stuff or take back. So, I got the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour. And my friend Sharice told me about this foundation. Actually, I actually seen her wear it and it was freaking flawless on her skin. And it photographs so well. So, I end up getting it. And I'm in the shade 500, and it looks like this. So, I'm so excited about that. I'm trying to find the perfect foundation uh, for my wedding. I want to look like a dream come true, princess, everything I imagined. So, I've been really, really on a foundation hunt. Another thing I have um, got offline is... I needed to re-up on some MAC products. I'm kind of straying away from MAC. Me and Sharice was talking about that early this morning. But some things I still really like from MAC. So I want to try out this loose foundation powder. And it's in the shade medium deep. And it's just like this. I love the packaging. It's so sleek. Uh, another thing I got. I want to try a primer. I'm all about skincare nowadays, and this is the um, Natural Radiance Base Prepper Prime, and this is the yellow one. Looks like that. Um, I needed another 7.5 Match Master foundation. Looks like that. I was I ran right out of it, and it's going back. Take back to Mac, and I needed some concealers to highlight with. I'm becoming a foundation and concealer and primer junkie. 
So I got two um, concealers. One is in NW40 and the other is in NC45 to highlight under my eyes and highlighted areas. I also got um, a lip glass in Spite. Uh, I hear a lot of people talk about this lip glass. It's something like an everyday lip glass that you could gloss that you could just put on, and it's called Spite. I just put it right here. It's like a neutral color. I don't know if you can see that. It's right here. And I got three lip pencils, and the lip pencils is in heroin, chestnut and vino and I'll swatch those for you uh, and I swatched heroin and magenta next to each other and it looks like really the same but heroin is more purple and magenta is a little more pink but hell I could have did it without the heroin honestly and got something else but oh well it's done vino that's that color right here a nice cranberry color. Kind of looks like currant, but it's slightly different. Heroin. That's that color right here. I could kind of match that with um, purple rain. And chestnut is a brown, which is right here. And I have a lot of brown um, lip liners, but it's nothing like chestnut. So, I really wanted chestnut. And last but not least, what I got from online was from House of Lashes. They had a sale on a three pack of lashes and I got the doll face lashes that looks like this, a little more fuller. I'm trying to get a little more into lashes to um, for my glammed up days in the summer. And I also received, I bought two of their, their adhesives. I heard this is like the best eyelash adhesive. So I went ahead and picked it up. And it looks like like this. And it has a brush applicator on it. Oh, it smells good. You know how Duo's um, glue smell like fish? It stinks. But, yes, that's all for my online haul. I have more videos to come. So, please subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.